Today we're going to use the image of the Bear Cathedral that we worked on to demonstrate how we can replace a rather mundane blue sky with one that has some cloud in it. First of all, let's get our old image up. Go to open and select the image. Which one was it? This one, I think. Pick that. Yes, that looks familiar. Let's get our documents panel up. Right, now we've got that up, we need to duplicate it. So we go to Image, Duplicate, which is exactly what we did last time. Now we've got our duplicate up, we need to get some sky. So we go to File, Open, and we've got various files of sky here. I think we'll select this one open. Now select and select all. So we've got the marching ants going all the way around the image. Go to edit and we'll copy that. And having copied it, we'll get the uh, Ayer Cathedral back up and we will paste it in as a new layer. Right, the sky has now covered up the cathedral not to worry. Go down to the layers panel, right click the background copy and duplicate it. Now we move that layer above the sky layer, like that. And the sky layer has disappeared on our screen. If I turn that layer off, you can see the sky layer is still there. Turn it back on. Now, if we go over to the left toolbar and click the magic wand tool, you'll notice up here that this toolbar has changed. It's got all the options and properties that we can alter for the uh, magic wand. Tolerance, that tells us what we can set, uh, what we select. If we go to a very small number, uh, and click over, let's click over the sky, which is in actual fact what we're going to select. It doesn't select all the sky, there's all this area down here that's not selected. So let's go back. If we go for a fairly high number, let's say 75, a bit more than that, 89, and then click over the sky, you can see we've We've selected too much. We've selected all down the, the side of this, the cathedral. So we'll set it at about 30, 31. There we are. Uh, and we'll go back again. Right. Now if we click the magic wand tool about the middle of the sky, let's see what happens. Right, we've selected most of the sky. There's just a little bit down here. So if we go onto the, the Magic Wand tool, toolbar, you'll see the second button along, it said Add to Selection. So we click that and go with the Magic Wand tool over this little bit and click it. There we are. Having selected the sky, we want to hide it. So we go over to Layers come down where it says mask because we want to mask it off. Add mask, hide selection. So we click that. And if you look over on the layer over on the layers panel of the, the background copy too, you can see we now got a mask and that is hiding uh, the sky. And you can see the sky layer through it. So let's get rid of the marching ants, go to select and deselect. Right, are we satisfied with the sky as it is? Well, let's have a little experiment. Go up to the move tool and click it. 
make quite sure it's selected because we've got the four arrows moving out. Now I come down to the layers panel and click the sky layer. Now the sky layer is now the active layer so we can then go over to our image, click the left mouse button and we can move the sky around and we can see which looks best. Probably that. Probably that. We'll be happy at that. All we need to do now is flatten the image, get rid of all the layers, and save it. So we go to Layers, Merge, Merge All. And now we're just left with the background there again. And go over to File, Save As. And I think we'll save it as PC S K M. That stands for Sky Modified. And we'll click Save. Let's compare what we've done uh, uh, on the image to the original one. So if we go to Open. Where's the original? Oh, that must be it. Click it. Yes. Let's get all the windows open on the desktop. And sort them out into order. Get them all the same size. Right, now we've got all the images lined up on the desktop. This is the original. Uh, this is after we've corrected the verticals and this is after we've modified the sky. Now a lot of people would object to what we've done. But if you're an artist, uh, a, say a watercolour artist, you wouldn't paint the cathedral leaning backwards. And more often than not, you make the sky interesting. And I think what we are involved in is digital art and I can't see anything wrong in making the corrections that we've done. I hope you've enjoyed what I've shown you. That's the end of this session. Thank you for watching.